Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the award celebration for the AP Tippin program. My name is Karen Morris, and I am the AP Tippin program director, and I'm going to be your host for today. AP Tippin program is excited to share all of the successes that we've had with our schools and our teachers. It's been a challenging year, but we know that with the effort that our students and our teachers have put into the program, they have seen successes beyond their belief. We are going to be looking at some data. We're going to be sharing with you how the AP TIPA program has progressed since its beginning. And we're going to be awarding our schools in cohort six and seven with our schools of the year, our affiliate schools, which are schools that have continued the AP TIPA program beyond their tenure and have continued to excel. And we are going to be awarding our AP Math, Science, and English Teachers of the Year. We have some wonderful educators in the state of Indiana that we work with, and we are happy to acknowledge all of the hard work that they put in. So join us and enjoy the AP Tippin program, and we look forward to hearing from all of you. To kick off the program, I'm introducing my colleague, Dr. Matt Closer, the director of the University of Notre Dame Center for STEM Education. As a fellow STEM educator, Matt thoroughly understands the dedication that our program teachers and schools have towards aiding their students in pre-college STEM career pathways. We value his support and collaboration. Matt? Greetings and welcome to the University of Notre Dame, where today we celebrate advanced placement teachers, students, and administrators. This would be the view we would normally see of the golden dome glinting in the sun amidst the fall foliage. But of course, this is 2020 and nothing seems normal. Even this view is just but a virtual view of what's behind me right now. But we shouldn't let that discourage us. We shouldn't let that take away from this amazing celebration and the accomplishments of all of the teachers and students who have participated in this program over the past year. In fact, given the context and given the pandemic, given the circumstances, the work that has been done by teachers and students is nothing less than heroic. When the main building here on campus that houses the Golden Dome burned down in the early 1900s, the founder of the university, Father Soren, said, the problem is we didn't build it big enough. He looked at a time of crisis and saw an opportunity. I see us at the same point where we see this crisis among us and have embraced the opportunity to help young people flourish and continue to learn and grow despite all of the challenges. With that, I can only express my heartfelt gratitude and thank you on behalf of the university and on behalf of the University of Notre Dame Center for STEM Education, and of course, the Advanced Placement Teacher Investment Program. Thank you for the gifts of your time, of your talent, and the sacrifices you have made to make the world a better place for the young people in your care. Congratulations. In 2012, the AP Tippin program was initiated with a grant from the U.S. Department of Education in order to validate the strategies of the National Math and Science Initiative. Since then, this program has expanded to new schools and found new funding partners, but our goals remain the same. Provide strategies and supports that increase the number of students taking and receiving qualifying scores, that is scores of three, four, or five, in AP Math, Science, and English courses, and on exams. In 2019-2020, the AP Tippin program served 1,918 students at 20 Indiana high schools who took more than 2,700 AP Math, Science, and English courses. Additionally, this past year, we worked with 112 AP Math, Science, and English teachers 10 of whom are being honored today as finalists for our Teachers of the Year Awards. Overall, we provided each teacher more than 50 hours of professional development and support, including the AP Summer Institute, Fall Conference, 
mock exam reading, regional teacher collaborative meetings, and instructional coaching. Even though we cut short some events due to COVID-19, our teachers were active participants in all. The AP Tip-In program works with schools of different sizes and in different areas of Indiana, urban, suburban, and rural. The 20 cohort six and seven schools on the map are no exception, with schools as small as 225 and as large as nearly 3,000. Like the cohort schools preceding them, cohort six and seven schools are committed to growing their AP Math, Science, and English courses and helped their students to become college and career ready. In addition to cohort six and seven schools, this past year, AP Tippin continued its work in 37 schools from previous cohorts, the AP Tippin Affiliate Schools. These schools are committed to continuing to implement the key components of AP Tippin program that worked well. This includes our experiment at Our Lady of the Sacred Heart High School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This school now has become one of our affiliates. As program schools exit the AP Tippin grant program, we have the opportunity to add new schools representing new areas of Indiana, and this wouldn't be possible without the financial support from the Lilly Endowment Incorporated. In addition to our Indiana schools, we are also adding a new Catholic school in Pittsburgh with private funds. We are grateful to, for the support of our funders, without which the AP Tippin program wouldn't be operating. Our new cohort eight schools include Central Noble High School. The Central Noble Cougars have increased their AP Math, Science, and English enrollments by 86%. In addition, they added new AP courses, AP Statistics, AP Computer Science Principles, and AP Physics 1. East Noble High School. The East Noble Knights increased their enrollments by 4% in AP Math, Science, and English courses. Hanover Central High School. The Hanover Central Wildcats increased enrollments in AP Math, Science, and English courses by 29%. In addition, they added a new course, AP English Language. Norwell High School. The, the Norwell Knights increased their enrollments by 74%, and they added AP Statistics and AP Physics 1 as new courses for the Knights students. River Forest High School. The Ingots increased their AP Math, Science, and English enrollments by 28%, and they added AP Statistics as a new AP Math course. Sheridan High School, one of the two smallest schools in Cohort 8, Sheridan High School had one of the largest enrollment growths with 133%. In addition, one of those courses is a new course, AP English Language for the Blackhawks. Washington High School in Southern Indiana increased their AP Math, Science, and English enrollments by 88%. The Hatchets have also added two new courses, AP Statistics and AP Computer Science Principles. The Wawasee Warriors increased their AP Math, Science, and English enrollments by over 100% and added one new AP course, AP English Language. White River Valley High School is the second smallest school in this group of cohort eight, and it increased its enrollment in AP Math, Science, and English courses by 45%, and it added three new AP courses, AP Statistics, AP Environmental Science, and AP English Literature. And finally, our school in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Nazareth Prep High School, the Saints, added all three new AP courses, AP is new to them this year, AP Statistics, AP Environmental Science, and AP English Language. All told, these schools' commitment to growth in AP Math, Science, and English courses represent a 64% increase in enrollments in the 2020-2021 school year. We are happy to have all these new schools for AP Tip in Cohort 8. 
implementing the AP Tippin program in all of these schools has been quite an adventure. As STEM educators, we wonder, how do we know the AP Tippin program works? This slide makes a compelling argument. The bar graph shows the impact of the AP Tippin program on cohort six and seven schools during last year. On the left, the blue bars show the change in AP Math, Science, English enrollments as measured by the number of students who took the AP exam. Compared to the baseline year, which is the year that schools apply to be part of AP Tippin, you can see that cohort six experienced a slight decline in, in its year two of the program. COVID had a negative impact on many students completing their AP courses and exams this past year. Regardless, cohort six schools increased their AP math, science, and English enrollments by 63%. Cohort seven schools increased their enrollments last year by 38% but right now have rocketed to 59%. Our cohort six and seven schools also experienced success this year. The green bars on the right side of the graph clearly show that cohort six schools nearly equaled their high number of qualifying scores in year two. Cohort seven schools increased their qualifying scores by 26% last year. We project nearly 800 qualifying scores for cohort seven in 2020-2021. These increases wouldn't be possible without the dedication of teachers and administrators at our schools in implementing the AP Tippin program. AP Tippin also tracks the continued success of its affiliate schools after they exit the program. These graphs show the average percent increases on enrollments, the blue bars, and success the green bars, compared to baseline data for affiliate schools during their tenure in AP Tippin, the light shaded bars, and in the years afterwards, the dark shaded bars. It is exciting to note that, on average, affiliate schools who continue their AP Tippin efforts and continue to commit to enrollment increases also reap the benefit of increases in the number of qualifying scores that their students receive. Affiliate schools continue to help their students achieve which demonstrates the sustainability of the AP Tippin program. Overall, the investment in AP Tippin schools is clear. For cohort six and seven schools, 1,918 students took over 2,734 courses. Of these, 895 earned 1,248 qualifying scores. This translates to $124,800 in awards that were distributed to students. For teachers, $65,000 in awards and bonuses were distributed. This means that there is a total of student and teacher investment of nearly $190,000. Since 2012, AB Tippin has served 25,000 students who took over 30. 6,400 AP Math, Science, and English exams and earned nearly 14,900 qualifying scores. Our success rate has climbed to 41%. We have also served 490 AP Math, Science, and English teachers and currently work in 58 Indiana and two Pennsylvania high schools. Overall, this return on the investment in students and teachers is nearing $12 million in Indiana college credit, considering the average cost per course for Indiana public institutions of higher education. And students are taking 30 credit hours per year, which puts them on track for graduation in four years. What a great value to Hoosier families and taxpayers. And now it's time to the fun part of the agenda, the awards. We're starting with the AP Tippin Affiliate School of the Year. This year, we have four finalists for Affiliate School of the Year, and I would now like to introduce each one to you. First up, Argus Community Junior Senior High School. When I think of Argus High School's AP program, I'm reminded of the story, The Little Engine That Could. You know, the one that says, I think I can, I think I can. With just over 200 students in this small rural school, the administrators and teachers made a decision to assure that all students experience rigorous coursework through AP. I think I can. The effort at this cohort for school has been amazing. Each year, they increase the number of students taking AP math, science, and English courses, such that by 2020, 
The number of enrollments in just AP Math, Science, and English represented nearly half the school population, a 326% increase. I think I can. This doesn't include AP Humanities courses. Qualifying scores followed suit with 370% increase compared to the year prior to their entry in the AP Tippin program. Wow. Hey, Argus, we know you have Argus Community Junior Senior High School. Next, we have Avon High School. Prior to joining AP Tippin, Avon had robust enrollments in some AP Math, Science, and English courses. Others were anemic. After the AP Tip Insight visit, our discussions for Avon centered on growth in those areas that really needed a shot in the arm for a school of this size, AP Chemistry, AP Environmental Science, and adding a new AP Computer Science course. With the addition of AP Statistics in year two, the temperature of this cohort five school's AP program skyrocketed. In 2020, enrollments increased by 270%, and qualifying scores, 230% in just those courses that AP Tippin supports. We think the outlook for this patient is great health indeed. Avon High School. Marion High School. Embedded in a struggling community, Marion High School can find all sorts of reasons for just trying to maintain its status. We have high poverty. We are a diverse community. But the AP teachers in this cohort five school swept this aside in favor of kickstarting their AP math, science, and English program anew. Although Marion's AP teachers had just attended AP training prior to AP tip in, they embraced AP professional development with 100% participation in the AP tip in events. They learned new things and they made them their own. What wonderful models of lifelong learning for Marion students! Their efforts this year have been rewarded with the highest participation in AP Math, Science, and English courses to date, and a 100% increase in AP Math, Science, and English qualifying scores. A lesson well learned. Marion High School. And our final affiliate school of the year finalist is New Prairie High School. This cohort three school has implemented the AP Tippin program successfully since 2015, experienced consistent growth and success each year as a cohort school, and then as an affiliate. But 2020 was remarkable for New Prairie High School in a COVID year when participation in AP programs declined both nationally and statewide compared to 2018-19. The enrollments in New Prairie's AP Math, Science, and English courses still grew by nearly 60% compared to their baseline, and 10% compared to last year. And qualifying scores, 288% compared to their baseline. In fact, New Prairie AP Math, Science, and English scores more than doubled compared to last year and increased by nearly 100. I think that earns an A. New Prairie High School. But the winner of the AP Tip and Affiliate School of the Year is Marion High School. We're so excited to win the AP Tip-In Affiliate School of the Year. I'd like to express our appreciation to AP Tip-In and to Notre Dame for uh, this uh, nomination and um, thank you for the award. At 15 out of 18 of our subjects this year above the state average. Uh, just, just again, so proud of our teachers, so proud of our students, and we want to thank AP Tip-In so much for their support during this time. Again, our teachers had workshops. Also, I know a ton of collaboration with other teachers that are involved in AP Tip-In. Uh, again, the support has been awesome and our students have definitely received the benefit from uh, this great organization. We have participated in the cohort and now uh, two years as an affiliate. I found that AP Tip-In has been an incredible source and resource for uh, our teachers and their uh, preparation of materials, uh, delivery of materials. Um, the fall workshops have been tremendous, as has been the mock exam uh, read. We want to thank you so much. We wish we were actually up at Notre Dame uh, doing this in person. So thank you for this award.
We appreciate it very much. We'll We're happy to win this award, and again, we thank you so much. And now we're starting on our Teachers of the Year Award. We're going to kick off this year with our Science Teacher of the Year finalists. Introducing them is Science Content Director Maureen McGrail. From the AP Tip in Science team, I'd like to say congratulations to Sabrina Lamaster of Northfield High School teaching AP Biology. When Sabrina and I first met, um, her classroom at the time had some beautiful taxidermy, a big owl flying in the back and a mural of the Indiana forest. Um, and with that backdrop, uh, she pursued all things AP biology with her students. She delivered some terrific results in her second year of teaching. Um, she greatly uh, improved the qualifying scores from first year uh, serving eight students with no qualifying scores to her second year of nine students and five qualifying scores. I remember Sabrina shared with me her students were a little quiet at the beginning, but as she worked with them on the free responses, and she told me she really picked out good uh, AP Bio illustrative examples to drive home those concepts. And uh, what she did worked in the classroom. Uh, she also participated in all of the AP Tip in professional development and the coaching. And so it has really been my, my pleasure and my honor to work with her. And I want to say congratulations. Thanks, Sabrina. I would like to say congratulations to Casey Nabel of Gibson Southern High School, teaching AP Physics 1. Casey and I first met on the site visit to the school. As a second year teacher, she was bringing on AP Physics. Uh, she was really excited about it, and so were her students who had asked for that. Casey uh, willingly accepted the challenge. And it's just been um, a terrific uh, honor working with her alongside her, uh, Casey. She participated in all of the AP Tippin professional development. She embraced the AP Tippin coaching model, and she really ran a student-centered classroom. Uh, she delivered terrific results this year. Six of her eight students had qualifying scores, and... Um, the other two scored twos, so there were no ones in Casey's AP Physics class, which, which is just a, a strong uh, testament to her uh, fantastic teaching, her really stressing the concepts, and uh, giving her students a wonderful opportunity. So thanks, Casey. Congratulations. I'd like to say congratulations to Spencer Sandusky of Franklin Central High School teaching AP Environmental Science. Uh, Spencer is a veteran, eight-year teacher of AP Environmental Science, and when you walk into his classroom, you really get the sense that he is passionate and knowledgeable about his topic and really working to move his students forward to become good global citizens. Uh, Spencer delivered some terrific results in access and success for his school this year. He accepted the challenge of a few more uh, sections of AP Environmental Science and grew his enrollment from 68 to 138 students. On the success piece, he was able to move from 32 qualifying scores to 54 qualifying scores. Um, he's student-centered, uh, terrific uh, teacher, participated in all the elements of the AP Tippin program. And I just want to say thank you, Spencer, and congratulations. And the winner of the 2019-2020 AP Tippin Science Teacher of the Year Award is Casey Nabel from Gibson Southern High School. Let's hear a word from Casey. I want to extend a huge thank you to everyone involved in this opportunity. I am humbled for the nomination of this award and for the reception of it. I want to say thank you to a handful of people that have been involved. First of all, my students. They're the ones who even pushed to add AP Physics at our school, and they asked me over and over again until I finally said, okay, I'll look into it. So huge thank you to them. They made me a better teacher over the last year. I also want to say thank you to the staff and administration of Gibson Southern High School and South Gibson School Corporation. They gave me the courage and support of adding a brand new course 
and then help me with it the entire way. I want to extend a thank you to AP Tippin for all of the professional development and professional support that they gave me over the last year. Every conference, every program, every meeting gave me something I could bring back and add to my classroom and offered a ton of learning for me. I would always bring back a new activity and my students would joke with me and they're like, where did you get this idea? And it was always from one of those conferences. So I'm so thankful for all of those opportunities that AP Tippin provided. I am super excited about what my future holds as a teacher and also what the future of my students hold as they're participating in this program. So I th am so thankful for this award. Uh, thank you. Next are our English Teacher of the Year finalists and introducing them is English Content Director, Chris Judson. Thank you, Karen. Um, as English Content Director and as an, a Content Director, my colleagues will attest to this. I mean, we have the privilege of working with incredible teachers and watching them work with their incredible students and schools and each of uh, these people represent um, team efforts within schools. Uh, but today I'd like to highlight three for you. The first I'd like to highlight for you is Brandy Gillenwater from Rensselaer Central High School. And one of the things that I can tell you about Brandy is she will always ask questions. And I appreciate that because I think sometimes as a professional, we sometimes think that, um, you know, we can't ask questions. Um, or we may not feel confident in asking the question himself, but Brandy has always been willing to ask those questions that help her serve students best. One of the things I like to highlight with Brandy is that uh, in 2019, she had seven qualifying scores. And I understand that this is a uh, upon the students and what they do, but there is an impact on how students do on exams by teachers who care about them. And this past year, pandemic year, 2020, out of 39 students that took the AP exam in English, AP English language and composition at Rensselaer Central, 24 had qualifying scores with eight of those being a four or higher. And that's just a testament to Brandy's hard work in building this program at Rensselaer Central. And I'm happy to nominate her for this award. The next teacher I'd like to highlight is Rebecca Jones uh, from Franklin Central High School. Uh, she will tell you it's a team effort that she's maybe even nominated. Um, but I'd like to just highlight some of the things that she has done, specifically her presence within her professional developments, even though we've been online for two, our mock read and APSI. When I jump into the room, I can tell that she is engaged, not saying that other people are not, but I can tell that she is interested and engaged, and even uh, some of the leaders of our professional development had made um, statements about that. This is a person who is knows a lot um, and yet continues to, to gain more. Um, and one of the things that department has done in AP English language has grown their, their program 10% uh, over the, the past year uh, with between our first and second year in the program. What we did see or what I did see is, is just wonderful numbers coming from her students. And again, I, I will contend that just doesn't happen by chance. It's through the work and dedication of teachers. And in Rebecca's class, out of 86 students, 50 had qualifying scores, which is phenomenal, with 15 of her students earning a five overall. And that just says something about Rebecca. It does say something also about the great work that's happening at Franklin Central, but I am so happy to um, shine a spotlight on Rebecca Jones for her work. Lastly, I'd like to go ahead and shine a spotlight and highlight the work of Christine Weatherby of East Chicago Central High School and what a work that she has done. Again, each of these schools have great and tremendous support. East Chicago has a wonderful department that works together and their AP team has been a delight to work with. But they would tell you also the work that Christine has been able to do. In her first year, which would be 2019, she took over the AP English language course, and the students, uh, two students, or, or earned a qualifying score of three. This past year, 
And, and again, you can ask her colleagues how much she stresses over doing the right thing because she wants to do the right thing for her students. And her students reacted incredibly well within that program that in 2020, in a pandemic year, she had students that scored 10 qualifying scores. And that's just incredible with three of those students earning a four. And that says the tremendous work and dedication of this incredible woman, Christine Weatherby. Congratulations. And the winner of the 2019-2020 AP Tippin English Teacher of the Year is Christine Weatherby from East Chicago Central High School. Let's hear a word from Christine. It is a joy to be able to come before you today. And I just wanna say that I'm humbled by this nomination. And I wanna express my deepest gratitude to Karen Morris, Wendy Barnes, Chris Judson, and everyone that serves behind the scenes at the AP TIP program. Thank you for providing rich opportunities that will change the trajectory for our young people. And I wanna thank my amazing leaders here at East Chicago Central High School who give 100% each day, who never stop fighting for our kids and who utilize their faith to lead and inspire by providing us with a strong example. And I wanna lift up my colleagues who are some of my dearest friends. Your love and support and faith gives me hope each day. And I am blessed beyond measure just to be able to come to work knowing that I am a small part of a bigger vision a vision that seeks to serve the educational needs and lift up our young people. I wanna thank my family, Dave, Cordelia, and Sam. I love you so much and I'm grateful for your love, for your support. Everything that um, I am today is because of you. And I wanna end right now with a quote uh, by St. Augustine. And if you hold your peace, hold your peace out of love. If you cry out, cry out in love and let the root of love be in you and nothing can spring from it but good. Thank you again. God bless. And finally, to introduce our Math Teacher of the Year finalist, I'd like to introduce Math Content Director Greg Macklem. Hi, my name is Greg Macklem and I am the Math Content Director for the AP Teacher Investment Program. And it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the four finalists for this year's AP Tippin Teacher of the Year in Mathematics and Computer Science. The Mathematics and Computer Science teachers in our program did an exceptional job this last year, especially coping with the unexpected changes and challenges brought on by the pandemic. They are all to be congratulated for their energy, passion, and hard work on behalf of their students. There were four individuals, however, who really stood out among this group of excellent teachers. Our first finalist is Mark Blatchley, teaches computer science at New Palestine High School. Now, Dr. Blatchley not only teaches AP computer science principles at New Palestine, he also teaches AP physics among his other teaching responsibilities. He works well with his students, he has great handle on the material and he communicates it very effectively with his students and that has certainly been borne out in the results. His students have achieved tremendous success on both AP exams during his time in AP Tippin. He's also remarkably generous with his time, facilitating discussions among his colleagues, both online and in person, serving as part of our program's computer science advisory board, and as part of a team providing a quick crash course in computer science for new teachers ahead of our summer institute. Mark is a tremendous asset to his students, to his school, and to the AP teaching community in Indiana, and we are pleased to recognize his efforts today. Our next finalist is Barb Klein, Mathematics at Western High School. Mrs. Klein wasn't new to AP Tippin when we started working with Western High School two years ago, as she had taught previously at another program school. However, she was new to calculus, a significantly different course from the AP statistics she had previously taught. Barb worked tirelessly to recruit students to her class and encouraged them to stay and be successful in calculus. And she constantly sought ways to improve instruction for her kids. She has an obvious passion for helping kids and it shows in how she works with her students. It has been a real joy watching her grow as a calculus teacher over the last two years and the growth of her course in terms of participation 
and the number of students enjoying success in AP Calculus is a real testament to all of her hard work. I expect that success will continue to increase for Barb and her students in Western High School in the future, and we certainly all thank Mrs. Klein for all of her efforts. Our next finalist is Lisa Harden, mathematics teacher at New Palestine High School. When New Palestine joined our program, Ms. Harden was already an experienced teacher with no small degree of success in AP Calculus AB, but she bought into the goals of the program and worked to grow participation as well as student achievement in her course. She has a tremendous rapport with her students and it's obvious that they like and respect her, but more importantly, they learn really good math while they are in her room. After her first year, she also decided to add an AP Calculus BC course, although it had been a while since she had taught that material. And while absence may make their heart grow fonder, in mathematics it also tends to make the mind a little forgetful. However, Lisa did a fantastic job of getting her students prepared in her first year of Calculus BC, and they had tremendous success. Now students at New Palestine have yet another option to pursue more advanced mathematics. We certainly appreciate all of Lisa's efforts on behalf of her students. Our last finalist is Sam Schnur, mathematics teacher at Boonville High School. Mr. Schnur is compared to the other finalists in math and computer science today at an earlier stage in his career, but he has already demonstrated real success as a teacher and has the potential to become a model of excellence as a mathematics and calculus teacher. Part of that potential is Sam's willingness to experiment and try new things in his classroom. His openness to new ideas and approaches will stand him in good stead as he continues to grow as a teacher, and it's clear from last year's results that those efforts are also leading to greater student success at Boonville. Sam is also always quick to help facilitate collaborative meetings with his colleagues in the Evansville area and to share ideas with other teachers. I am as excited about Sam's potential growth as a math teacher as I am about the growth and results he has already demonstrated in our program, and those were considerable. We look forward to watching his trajectory in the future. I do wanna say congratulations to all of our finalists. You are all outstanding educators working in a group of excellent teachers in Indiana. I really appreciate all of their hard work and their effort and their creativity and their ability and willingness to challenge themselves and their students to constantly improve. In all of my observations, it was always a joy to see these four teachers in particular work not just because they have a passion for their job and a passion for their students and their content area, but in part because it was also a chance for me to learn and to observe excellence, which is always a pleasure in any field, but especially as a math educator to see people who do so well and continue to strive to be better. So I congratulate all four of them and I thank them all for their hard work. And I thank also all the other teachers in our program for all of their hard work on behalf of their students. Thank you. I am pleased to share the winners of the 2019-2020 AP Tip in Math Teacher of the Year are Mark Blatchley and Lisa Harden, both from New Palestine High School. Let's hear a word from both Mark and Lisa. Thank you. I am honored to receive this award. The Indiana Tip in Program has been absolutely wonderful and helpful component in my development as a teacher. I'm grateful for all the amazing professional development that has been offered, and I'm even more grateful for the talented people who have helped me, challenged me, and provided so much support. Brian Passwater uh, in Calculus, Maureen, Joe, Greg, you've been absolutely consummate professionals, providing answers, resources, and endless encouragement, and I appreciate it. Wendy and Karen, you've been ridiculously organized, efficient, and supportive, and I appreciate that too. I started back in cohort three when I was teaching physics at Arsenal Technical High School. I also taught calculus and stats, so I got to know a lot of the content directors. After my time in the program there at cohort three, I moved on to New Palestine High School, where we were fortunate to join cohort six. And so I've got to say that as one of the longer time participants in this grant program, I can uh, tell you with absolute certainty that this has been the best professional development I have had in my 20 plus years of teaching. Thank you so much for this honor and for this recognition, and also thank you for the excellent work and the research you've done on behalf of all the students and teachers here in the state of Indiana. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lisa Harden from New Palestine High School, and I was honored to find out that I had been nominated for AP Tippin Math Teacher of the Year. I'm even more honored to accept this award. The AP Tippin program 
all the people involved have been so helpful. Uh, the organizers, the mentors, the presenters are all there to help make you a better teacher and they have. They've made me such a better calculus teacher and I'm so appreciative. I'm also uh, very thankful that our school had decided to participate in this program. It has made a huge difference in my teaching. It's helped me go from good to great and in turn has helped my students to succeed in calculus. Thank you. Last but not least, we're now ready to introduce the finalists for the AP Tippin School of the Year for 2019-2020. Our first finalist for School of the Year is Morgan Township Middle High School. One of three small schools in East Porter County, the evolution of Morgan Township Middle High School from an embryo to a mature AP program is obvious. While this school has less than 250 students, it has adapted its programs to serve all with AP Math, Science, English enrollments, representing nearly 40% of the school population. Morgan Township's participation and success in 2020 blossomed with 100% increases in enrollments and an 89% increase in qualifying scores compared to their baseline year. This outstanding effort demonstrates that Morgan Township students can thrive in any ecosystem. Morgan Township Middle High School. Our second finalist is Portage High School. This cohort seven school just completed its first program year and Portage High School AP Math, Science and English teachers are providing a firm roadmap for student success. With an increase in AP Math, Science and English participation of 66%, and success of 126%, Portage High School students have demonstrated that they can drive the car when provided the keys. But year one was only the warm up lap as students are revved and going into year two with an increase in enrollments of 138%. Can this group make it to the finish line? We think they will. Portage High School. And the final finalist is Western High School. Nominated a finalist for 2019 School of the Year, this Cohort 6 school once again knocked it out of the park. In a COVID year, when participation in AP programs declined both nationally and statewide compared to 2018-19, Western High School hit a home run with its 242% increase in the number of AP Math, Science, and English enrollments and 247% increase in qualifying scores. The stable of teachers in Western's AP Math, Science, and English lineup is high quality. All actively participated in AP Tip and Professional Development events. In fact, Western's AP Physics 1 teacher, Jacob Bowman, who was last year's AP Tip and Science Teacher of the Year, is now part of the AP Tip and Bullpen, supporting other teachers around the state. Western High School has definitely brought it home. Western High School. And the winner of the 2019-2020 AP Tippin School of the Year is Western High School. Hello, I'm Steve Edwards, principal of Western High School. What a fantastic award to win for our school. On behalf of the students and staff of Western High School, we want to thank AP Tippin for this prestigious honor of being named the AP Tippin School of the Year. It has been an awesome experience for Western to work with AP Tip and be provided all the excellent resources that they have given our school and teachers. The students work very hard here at Western High School to do well in their AP classes, and the teachers try to give them the best instruction tools to succeed on AP tests. Thank you to Notre Dame and AP TIP for sending your awesome staff to work with our teachers to make them better. The collaboration with AP Tippin has made Western High School better and gave our students a better chance to succeed. Once again, thank you for naming Western High School as the AP Tippin School of the Year. Thank you everyone for joining our AP Tippin Awards this ceremony. We hope that you agree our teachers are amazing, our schools are wonderful, our students have excelled, and we are happy to celebrate all of them. Please, please join us in congratulating the teachers in your community. And thank you once again for joining us. Have a wonderful day.